In this lesson, I'm going to cover a really easy little idea to sort of start to break yourself away from the minor pentatonic scale when you're playing in a 12-bar blues and kind of start to capture the sound of each of the chords a little bit more as they go by. Now, I don't want to rail too badly on the minor pentatonic scale because, you know, a lot of great classic blues and rock guitar licks live in that scale and it would be hard to get real far playing blues rock guitar without playing the minor pentatonic scale at least some of the time. But at the same time, you can sound kind of one-dimensional if you play in that scale too much. And you're definitely missing out on some essential elements of the chords as they go by. So if you know anything at all about music theory or chord construction, you may already know then that the third of a given chord is arguably the most important note of that chord. It's the third that determines whether a chord is major or minor. Now, if we're talking about a 12-bar blues in the key of A, and I'm talking about a simple 12-bar blues with just the 1, 4, and 5 chords, the 1 chord in the key of A is going to be an A. So in a blues, you might use an A7 chord. And the third of that A chord is the C sharp, which I can grab right here on the 3rd string 6th fret. I can also grab it an octave higher on the 1st string 9th fret, and an octave lower on the 5th string 4th fret. And then the four chord is a D. Maybe you'll play a D7. And the third of the D chord is an F sharp. I can grab that note here on the second string, seventh fret, and an octave below that on the fourth string, fourth fret. And then finally, the five chord in the key of A is an E. And you might play an E7 chord. And the third of that chord is a G sharp, which I can grab here on the fourth string, sixth fret, I can also grab it on the 2nd string, 9th fret, and I can also get that same note over here on the 1st string, 4th fret. These are all in close proximity to the A minor pentatonic scale. But what's really always been kind of interesting to me is that, you know, as great as the A minor pentatonic scale sounds in a 12-bar blues, none of those thirds are present in that scale. So by playing in that scale, you're really missing out on what is arguably the most essential element of each of those chords. And another idea I want to add to this concept is approaching the third of each chord from a half step below. This is a really important element of the sound of the blues. So, over the A chord, that third is a C sharp, so I'm going to approach that from a half step below on the C. And then on the D chord, that third is an F sharp, so I'm going to approach that from a half step below on the F. And then on the V chord, that third's a G sharp, so I'll approach that from a half step below from the G to the G sharp. And then I'll return to the A chord again by hitting the C going to the C sharp, the flatted third going to the third. That's a really important element of the sound of the blues. Okay, so I'm going to start up a backing track now. It's a 12-bar blues in the key of A. And as the chords go by, I'm going to try to target the thirds of each of those chords. And I'll talk you through what I'm doing a little bit. So here's the one chord, the A. Here comes the four. Back to the one. Here's the five.
So I think this is a real simple way to kind of take something that's very familiar to a lot of guitar players, that minor pentatonic scale, and just make some slight adaptations to it to capture the sound of each of the chords in a 12-bar blues as they go by.